huge problem out there. So that is the context, really. It's us going to the next centenary, the previous centenary, and saying what is the vision for this next centenary. 20 year period of governance, how do we proceed for after 20 years? If you don't examine those things and sit down and ponder deeply on these things, I think that will not be exercising leadership. No, no, no. I'm sure you have the radical. I mean, these people are going to come here to the court to explain to you what changes they have in mind and how things are going to be But the point is to stress also is that you are a governing party. We're guided by the constitution and the law. So we're not going to willy-nilly wake up every morning and do things that have nothing to do and we even go out of the law or the constitution. Everything, we have a responsibility to do things in a manner that's going to keep the country together. So, we can't be involved in anything that is going to cause disruption, decline. We, we, we have to be very clear and very careful and cautious in the language we implement. We don't want to, you know, um, emulate other examples that you know, are not good. We want to do it the right way. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. We have to find a nice, you know, balance. Uh, um, um, and, 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 and in the last thing, uh, yes, if you look, go back, we have not changed the constitution really nearly. We have been very careful even about that, changing the constitution, because one certain things will happen in a certain way. Because in the back of our minds, we are thinking about keeping this thing together. So you can't just wake up and do things. If you do certain things, you must be sure that you take people with you. I mean, everybody, the majority of them are with you. If you are not sure, and you are not sure that this thing is uniting people, you take a step back. Okay? Thank you.